Hello, and welcome back to Amateur Philosophers Play Games. I'm Noah, your host. I'm Justin, the gamer. And this is the show where we play video games and discuss philosophical ideas, problems, and philosophize about random topics. So, well, Justin, last week we got to the Divine Beast. Uh, you've been, it's been a long and arduous process, but yeah. you made your way through the, the Divine Beast, and here we are now in, uh, you, you've unlocked all the terminals, and I believe you now just have to go to the central terminal, and uh, you've saved uh, ahead of time, and you have a good collection of weapons for yeah. it, for no reason at all. Yeah, yeah, you, it, yeah, it, yeah. It's all about diplomacy with Ganon, I feel. You know, there's no problem that can't be solved yeah. with just nice words. <laughs> yeah, you know, no. you can definitely reason with the god of evil who's been slumber, who's been trapped for a hundred years, and is has, is eager to get his revenge on the land. But uh, that's yeah. not what we're here for. We're here to talk about. Uh, which is something that Justin actually picked up. Uh, as we've mentioned on this show before, but in case you're new here, Justin is the one who's something actually of a philosopher. I'm just the guy who enjoys talking about this stuff. And uh, yeah, this is something Justin's covered in class, philosophy class before. So why don't you introduce us uh, as this cutscene plays? Oh, wait. There's an unactivated terminal? What? Wait, what, what did I do? What? That, that well, that was a bad build-up. We really built this up last week. <laughs> As me getting uh, ready to do it. Hold on, open the map. Where, where's my? I wanted to fight Ganon. <laughs> I wait. Oh, wait. I'm there. There's one in the gears. Okay, I guess. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go back up to the stomach. It looks like taking a oh, detour. Wow. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, okay, well, we'll figure it out. Yep. All right. Anyway, just so, like we'll figure out the philosophy. Right. So, uh, we I've mentioned this. Uh, I th I've definitely touched on this in uh, a previous episode where uh, we talked about what is knowledge, and there's this guy named Gettier, and he is n famous for well, Gettier cases, and the idea is. He wants to figure out what knowledge is, and most of the time we think of it as a justified true belief. That's what it is on the on the paper, right? No, it's justified true belief. That's the, the term. Right. And yes. so it's like you have, uh, you know something because, well, you have reason to believe it, and the belief is true, and you believe it, basically are the, the three criteria. You're justified, you have evidence, all right. and all of that. Okay, so just making sure I reiterate, because this seems important. So... You, it is said you know a thing is you know a thing when one you believe it mm -hmm. two you have reason to believe it and three it is in fact true yes is that right all right cool. so so that's uh, what people like I, I think this is going to be important to clarify yes oh yeah it's it's uh it takes like a whole paragraph in the paper okay so it, what do I, it's in the second little gear what that makes no sense i don't see a terminal thing there uh Anyway, so that's what people usually tend to think that knowledge is. It's a justified true belief. And it seems like that's it, right? Like, if I have a reason to believe that I'm playing a game, um, because I see it, and, you know, it's true that I'm playing a game, and... Uh, you believe you're playing a game. And I believe I'm playing a game. That, the, all those yeah. things, that, that seems to mean, like, I know I'm playing a game. But... Right. Agreed. Gettier says that this is false. It doesn't make sense. And he gives he gives some examples. So uh, I I can't quite remember the examples he gave. I know another one that's equally as good. So Noah, let me ask you. Uh, you have a nice watch. You have like a you have a no. You know you know that Rolex that we got in China when we both got Rolexes. Yeah, <laughs> you got that's probably definitely not real. <laughs> yeah, um, you've got your Rolex. Cool though. It does. You got your Rolex uh, and you're wearing it, and then you decide you're going to go take a shower. Well, obviously okay. you're not going to take your Rolex in the shower. So you take your Rolex off. You put it on the on your uh, bedside table. And then you go take your shower. Unbeknownst to you, a thief uh, breaks into the house, sees the Rolex, snatches it. But this is like a nice thief, and he doesn't. He feels bad about like leaving you watchless, so he leaves you a Hello Kitty watch on the on the uh, nightstand. So it's in the same place. Uh, do you okay. know that there's a like while you're taking the shower? Do you know that there's a watch on your nightstand? Ah, all right. <laughs> I, think, I, I think I see where you're going with this. Like it seems like okay. you should know. Yeah. All right, let's... Hmm. All right, I'm going to just... Okay, this episode is going to be me getting this chest. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it because apparently I think that has to be the key to the issue here. It's it's not. I'll, I'll tell you that. Okay. Go, go, back to the, go back to the central one one more time. Are you... You're, you're sure you were at the central thing and it said you're, you're missing the terminal. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize I would... 
Okay. I, I, no. Fall damage is a thing, apparently. It's it's always been one. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, yes. So let, let's give a count. Let's give an example to show how. Or let's give a simple example and then work our way more complex and more detailed, right? So. Uh, replay the scenario, but instead of a watch, or instead of a Hello Kitty watch, this thief leaves me a brick. Okay. Okay. I, so I believe I have, I believe there's a watch on the, um, on my bedside, uh, what, what'd you call it? The bedside table, whatever. Yeah, nightstand, yeah. Uh, I believe that, I have reason to believe it, but it is not true, right? So, we can fairly safely say, I think that it's there, but I don't really, hmm. Can <laughs> we say I know, can we say I don't know it's there? I don't have knowledge that it's there. Hmm. Hmm. I, I think we need, we're going to need to figure this part out before we can turn to the second part of the question. Okay. So. So. Go ahead. Yes. It's, so we, we can agree it's possible to be mistaken about things. That happens quite often in life. We are mistaken. We have a belief and we have reason to believe that belief but it is the belief based on the evidence of the objective outside world is false. That, that, that happens yes. quite often. So, but can we, and we typically say, okay, so in, based on the assumption we made earlier, the three definitions, I would say, I don't know it. I might think I have that knowledge, but from an outsider perspective, we could say, oh, Noah does not have the knowledge of uh, we'll, we'll use my brick. The Noah does not have knowledge that there's a watch on the table. Right. But it, it, when I'm in the shower, I do believe I do. So... And you have reason where, to where believe. That? You have reason to believe that there's a watch yes, there. Yes, I, I, I believe it, and I have good reason to believe it. But yeah, it's not I true, did... so therefore you don't... Correct. Even by the definition that Gettier, uh, like is arguing against, you don't have knowledge because it's untrue. You can't know something that's right. false. Hmm... Let's let's examine that statement, I think. Oh. I, I think you're right, but let's talk about it. Okay. I yeah, I, that's what we're here for, Noah. You, you if you want to say you're here to talk. If you if you want to say that you can know things that are false, no, I I'm no, all, I'm I, here for it. I, I think I think <laughs> you're right, but I can't really visualize how, and so I think it's probably worth it to talk about. So knowledge we're using the term knowledge to refer to both a subjective and an objective right the subjective of what you believe and the objective of what is true in the world right yeah i think so yeah which uh, i don't know if that's exactly right so let's say this might be this might be doing some semantics but i'm gonna i just came up with the idea so i'll say it let's think i study um oh I, it's I'm right an, here it's literally right here noah i am dumb I was like walking all around. Jerry's gonna die <laughs> when he sees this. Great. Well, uh, perhaps the answer will be right in front of us this whole time. I sure hope so, because that would make it easier. So yes, I'm gonna say. Let's say I study. Um, who was it? It wasn't Copernicus. It was um, the Ptolemy uh, Ptolemaic system, the one that believed of the cosmos, where that believed the you, the Earth was in the center of the universe and mm -hmm. the planets and the sun rotated around it. Right. Yeah. I can study that and have a and build up a knowledge of the Ptolemaic system but you that's not the case hmm. huh. you, you, you see where do you see what I'm trying to think of here that's it's an interesting I can have a knowledge of something that claims to be true but isn't so does that make a difference well I the knowledge that you would have would be that this is an idea that exists and that is a true statement like this is what okay he believed so that yeah. is that is the truth of your statement so that you have knowledge the, the, of that this true statement is uh it is written uh, ptolemy had written down a collection of works explaining how he believed okay and it, it is that is a true statement and i have reason to believe that i know this and i do believe that i know it so okay yeah all right sure uh, i'll i'll accept i'll accept that i think uh ooh, this is this is a good scene. Yeah, look at this guy. Water play. Okay. Yeah, d diplomacy is still an option. Reasonable. Yeah, diplomacy, for sure. I'm gonna die. Please. I'm in danger. <laughs> Please take care. That thing is one of Ganon's creations. But it proved to be 
Well, uh, you know, you, be you better, uh, better not get beat by it. Oh, I'm gonna definitely gonna die at least once. I believe that you yeah, are well. <laughs> so. uh, I believe you are well prepared. This person, oh, whoever this has more faith in me than I have in myself. That's that's what I have to say for that. Yeah, Mifa, she, she Mifa trusts you. Uh, where's the shield? I'm gonna need it. Hey, dodge it. Okay. Um, do, do you want advice on? No, 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 no. I got it. All right, cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's an auspicious start. Anyway, uh, let's go back to Gettier. Right, that seems yeah. easier to solve. Than okay. Doing this thing. Um. Yeah. So. Going to my brick example. Um. We can say that I do not have knowledge that there is a watch on on the. Uh, there is a watch on the bedside table. All right, sure. So let's, um, I, I think we might be able to clarify this a little bit because when I say, um, well, so let's go back to the original scenario you posited where, uh, the, where the thief comes in and replaces my nice fake Rolex with a Hell Kitty watch. When I say there is a watch on the bedside table, I am... I, that might be what I'm saying, but I think what my belief and what implicitly is being said is my watch is on the bedside table. In which case, that would be something I believe and have reason to believe, but is false. True. Yes. So... I, I might not... And you can word it in a way that makes it more open and ambiguous. Uh, because, okay, how about this way? How about this? Um, I like to keep my bedside table... Nice and clean. I don't put any clutter on it, except when I go to take a shower, I put the watch on it. All right, okay. so it's empty. Uh, now along comes the thief while I'm in the shower, takes the watch, but doesn't replace it with anything. Right. And now can I say, all right, there is something on my bedside table. Well, you could argue there's dust on there, I suppose, but that, that seems disingenuous, right? Like that's not really what I'm trying to say. I think if you make the terminology too vague, you can get away. We can get away with sounding like a paradox, but I don't know what it means. Okay, so you're saying that because I, it's too it's too much of a technicality, which is why I yeah, think I, I'm saying like I think this is not exactly semantics, but you're you're using uh, you're using some funny words and some you're making the definition broader than it seems to be and that is seems to be creating the paradox which uh, well you know hey 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 you know even the greats fall occasionally <laughs> oh yeah i agree all right so and, uh, in this in this game it will probably be more than occasional that's all oh wow i have to go all the way oh wow okay wait do i get my... i don't think it, it shouldn't be that far right you can no 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 and... but do, my, my question is do i get my food back yeah you should okay good i'll need that I was like, that would that would make this game way harder if like I don't get my stuff back, because <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna eventually I'm just gonna end up having to leave. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, so, I mean, it thoughts you can also you can try to shoot him, but I think if when he's like doing his spear throw thing, if you dodge it and run up, you can hit him with a sword. Oh, there he is. You don't have. Oh, that's nice. You don't have to sit through the cutscene again. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so you're saying that saying I have a watch that you know you have a watch is too vague and allows me to play some, like, semantic game here. Yeah, because you can say, like, ah, well, you said a watch. You didn't say the watch, which, true, but I don't know if that's being very uh, intellectually honest. That's the term. So. Okay. Because, so, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so, it, I mean... It, it's not intellectually honest, and it's because it's winning on a technicality. Yeah, you're winning on a technicality. Like, the intention... I, I don't like to talk about intention too often, because I think it's... Understanding intention, even your own, is very difficult. But I'm going to bring it up here. The intention, when you said, oh, there's a watch on the table, you, what, what you're implicitly saying is, oh, my wa the watch that I own is on the table. You, And if you come, in, if you come into the bedroom and see the... Uh, Hello Kitty watch, you will be surprised, right? You will not say, ah, oh, well, I knew this. You you will be surprised at this revelation. I suppose. I think that is an... That is, you, you would expect to, yeah. yeah. I think that's an indicator that this is... Yeah. 
it, which, and, and so now in this case, I'm kind of getting into the sense of what is the idea of implicity, uh, implicit ideas and language, which is an interesting topic, but I don't think that's really what we're trying to talk about, you know? Yeah. Hit you. What I tried, to, I tried to do the shield. I I feel like is the shield and the I think the shield and the lock on button are the same, and that's not. They good. are yes. That's not good because sometimes I'm just locking on, and I really want to. Like well, if you hold if you hold it down and don't like if you oh uh, you do know some two hand if you have two handed weapons you can't hold a shield while you're using two handed weapon right. Oh, oh I didn't realize this was D and D rules. Okay. Well, okay. If it's like <laughs> a giant. Claymore that you need to hold in two hands. What are you gonna use the shield with? Your, your teeth? I guess. I don't know. I thought there were some like shenanigans going on. I mean, what you can do is like if you also keep in mind. I don't know how many the shield will break eventually. So yeah. like, um, I... usually the one-handed swords are weaker because you can hold a shield with them. Yeah. Okay. This makes sense. Okay. Anyway. Um. Okay. So I've got another um inquiry then. All right. This one might be a little better. You said something about um. Uh, what was it? You said something about... Ah, it was like... You said something you're worried or feared or something. So, uh, uh, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Um, you are driving past the field, okay? And in in the field, you see an animal. It's like shaggy. It, you see a white animal, and you're like, Oh, look, there's a sheep in the field. All right, so based on the evidence you have, seeing the animal and everything, you knowing your senses are working, yada, 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 you conclude there is a sheep in the field. Um, uh, okay, and turns out that the, the animal you saw was actually just a shaggy dog, but on the other side of a hill that the dog is in front of, there is a sheep in the field. Do you know that there's a sheep in the field? It uh, seems like... Okay. It seems like now it's not just being, now it's not like, oh, okay, just a watch. Like, this is very specific. Like, you are drawing a very clear conclusion. There is a sheep in the field. Or or would you right. say that I'm concluding, oh, that is a sheep in the field? Yeah, I, the question of, basically, can you be right for the wrong reasons? Yes. And I'm going to have to, apparently I can't block this, so. Uh, hold I on, think... where's the? Uh, hold on, no. look, it's ice, yeah, you can um, probably ice. I forgot how to use it though. This is a bad time. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna put them in the water. That's fine. Um, there we go. Yeah, we will have to like get close enough to actually hit him. Just block him. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Here you can also like use the ice to go platform. Shoot! Oh well, he hit you. But hey, you're in phase yeah, two now, which is a good sign. Yeah. So, anyway. Anyway. Uh, so. Yeah. So can you be right for the wrong reasons, or is this just another case of being? playing slightly more complicated semantics um you're you're making the statement there is a sheep in the field which is a true statement mm -hmm. but um i think i'm gonna stick to the same answer because uh there, there, because when you say there's a sheep in the field my i'm going to say well that's too ambiguous what you mean you could be saying two things one Say, implicitly saying, oh, there's a sheep in the field because that animal I see there is a sheep, in which case that is a false statement, okay. right? An unbeknownst to you. Or you could be saying, well, I think there may be a sheep in the field. Or, okay, this thing, this is uh, actually not that one. I'm going to say the, sec the second option I'm, I'm about to say is less likely, but you could be saying, well, I think there may be a sheep in the field and seeing that animal over there confirms my suspicions, which is hard i think it's a little trickier to say if that's actually true or not but that's that that it's less ambiguous that way i, I think it's a i think a lot of times these things are a bit of a question of ambiguity like when you say there's a sheep in the field that's it might not seem like it but it is not a very that's not a very clear statement sorry i'm really focusing oh i get it, i get it I, i'll keep talking yeah. okay um no so, no no oh no uh, anyway uh so oh, okay okay so it's ambiguous and it's ambiguous because it's unclear as to whether or not I'm actually saying yeah, what, what in, I'm referencing. In language, there are we use a lot of shortcuts in language. Most of the time, you won't even be aware of them. Uh, for example, you can, when you're talking about... I'll, I'll use a simple example. Pronouns uh, are a simple topic. So like, if you and I are talking about uh, this boss fight, I can, I can start saying it 
in re reference to the boss, and uh, even though I don't have to say, oh, the Water Blade Ganon every time, because we're, we're using a shortcut to indicate we both know what we're talking about. Uh, we both know what we're talking about, in this case, it representing the Water Blade Ganon. Yes. Um, Are you okay? I think this is kind of a... No, I am not okay. <laughs> it just came up like, no, I am, I am in danger, sir. Oh, no, okay. Uh, no. I think it's a lady, but... Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you know. Pronouns. Yeah. Uh, that's... It's a, I think it's a similar assumption we're making. Like, when you say, oh, there's a sheep in the field, because language uses shortcuts and to not be overly clunky, the... What you're actually saying, if you were to break it down and say it very specifically, is there is a sheep in the field because that animal is a sheep. Okay. I think... I think you're but, saying... Yeah. So, okay, there we go. I think that actually says it. When you say, when I point at the dog and say, there's a sheep in the field, what I am implicitly saying is, because that animal is a sheep, there is a sheep in the field. And that is a untrue statement, we can say, because no, that's not a... You have reason to... You believe it, you have reason to believe it, but it is untrue because that dog is not a sheep. So, I don't know, maybe a bit of a cop-out answer, but I think the idea of... I, I, I'm not, I haven't seen an example yet of these that I couldn't explain away as being, as just taking advantage of the inherent ambig ambiguity of some language. Hmm. So, I'm not saying, I, I don't think that's a necessarily a universal argument that Gettier, uh, these Gettier arguments are untrue. I'm just saying. Well, no, Gettier, Gettier, seen, Gettier's on your, I think Gettier's on your side. He's saying that like, oh my, oh God, run uh, away, run away. I'm just gonna dodge them. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, Gettier does not believe that you have knowledge. He's he's not on the side of oh you know that there's a sheep in the field. His whole argument is we don't know anything. <laughs> okay, well I'm, I'm not doing I'm not saying <laughs> he's like I, nope you don't know that there's a sheep in the field you don't know you have hands like you don't know nothing. I'm not agreeing with that. Oh, okay, that's. I know I'm saying. Well, ha, I'm saying you could I, I don't know, know that if that's how you're supposed to do it, but I'm, that's how I'm doing it. The scary thing about this game, there's so many ways to win. And also, there's so many ways to lose as well. Can you break those ice blocks? Um, I think I'm gonna... Oh, nope, okay, he's going. Oh. Coward. There he is. Um, he's gonna run away now. Um, so, you know, get here... Well, I, I, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm being disingenuous to, uh... Get here, but he, he does not believe that. Uh, Do you want to use like a cooler arrow than just the sand ones? So I, like I don't think arrow. I have any. I don't think I have any. Oh, uh, well, okay, fair enough. Yeah, this is all I got. I'm working with what I got. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm only like two hits away though. Like, I'm pretty close. No, you're doing good. Um, but yeah, no, he does not believe that justified true belief is enough for knowledge. But then the question is, like, this is, uh, like, this was, like, something that we talked about in my knowledge class. So the question that you're really trying to answer is, well, okay, then what is knowledge? What do, like, what is it then? If it's not justified true belief, if you're not believing that something is true based off good evidence, or based off evidence, then what is it? So the evidence has to be, the evidence you use has to be right? Like, you have to, like, the source of your belief has to be re actually reflective of reality i think that's what you're saying so like i not only like I, you know, the, I, the animal saying, the animal that i see has to be a sheep in order for me to derive that the animal that there is a sheep yeah, in what, the field i'm agreeing that knowledge is justified true belief i'm saying that these gettier cases are just a particularly funky ambig a, a situation taking advantage of how ambiguous language is because that's what i'm saying you're it, it, let's imagine the animal in the field actually is a sheep, right? If I point at and say, because that animal is a sheep, there's a sheep in the field. I have, I believe it, I have reason to believe it, and it is true, so I have that knowledge. Now, if it's a dog, I say, because there is a sheep in the, f because that animal is a sheep, there's a sheep in the field. Uh, I, I believe it, I have reason to believe it, but it is a false statement, therefore I do not have that knowledge. So I'm, I'm agreeing that knowledge is just to, justified true belief i'm just saying get when you're if you're trying to disprove it using situations like this you're just you're not being ingenuous because you're not as yeah Ooh, pretty hard this whole time i've been i've been pointing like oh look i'm pointing at that sheep and i realized no that's not how recordings work that's, that's not how this works i got another heart i'm the grinch my heart grew three sizes oh very sweet
Hey, uh, that actually wasn't too bad. No, actually, I was honestly, I was <laughs> more worried than I should have been. Uh, once you have acted the main control unit, you'll not be able to re-enter the fear of this. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna- like if, you, I, if there was- I'm gonna go back and get that get. chest. I'm gonna get that chest, okay? okay. <laughs> Be beating one-fourth of the god of evil? Easy. Getting this treasure Getting chest? this chest? Yeah. Nope! Uh, no, this will be fine. It's, it's not even a joke! I, I- I'm gonna feel so dumb when I finally figure it out. I'm gonna drown. Oh, no. No, 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 yeah! Oh. Oh. I, I, Do you- oh, you can't <laughs> see it? No, but there's like a tiny sliver of health there. Uh, uh, let your uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> okay. Died by a drowning yeah. after defeating the Lord of Evil. <laughs> you know that that does sound like something Link would do. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> back to the get your case. Um, were you saying something or was I saying something? I forgot. Um. Um, we were both saying some things. I oh, was just I, saying. Oh, yeah. all right. So the the. The issue that I have with the way you're you're solving this by saying it's just semantics, more or less, is that then and like your knowledge being dependent on the what your evidence re reflecting like the truth of like like the the behind the veil like truth. The issue is then you don't. It is not only do you not know. It is impossible for you to know that you know something. Hmm. Like you will never know. As right. long as, like, I, yeah, like I, I see what you well, this, this because is kind of, it, this is kind you're, of just, you're you're be, you're being right is completely I don't unknowable. Know, I, yeah, it's not not only is it unknowable, but it's like it's 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 dependent on chance. Like you have to just hope that you're right all the time um, in every situation. You're just hoping, okay, I'm right, and that seems hard yeah. when you're like I don't know. Performing brain surgery, like, <laughs> is this the nerve? I don't know. I forgot. Like, I don't know that that's actually true. Um, okay, but then, I, I see what you're saying, but I, I think we have talked about this before, but it's worth rehashing. H how can we know anything? Like, how can we judge the objective truth? Because everything we try to use, we're using our senses, which are imperfect and can be subjective. So you can start asking those questions about, well, is this the brain or is this just a piece of code in the matrix? How do I know? <laughs> uh... Why not both? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, if you want to go there, you certainly can. But then I think we end up... We at that point, we end up saying, well, we might all be brains and bats, and we can't really know that. So, so yes, that, that's a fair point, but just, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that is, but that is a fair point. And I think, I I will say, I think there you, have, you do have another point that, I, let me see if I can understand it and articulate it, that to, if I'm going to claim I have knowledge that Justin is playing a video game, I need three things, right? I need uh, to believe it, which mm -hmm. I do. I need reason to believe it, which I had, I do, because I'm watching you. I, I have uh, vi visual evidence. And I also, that needs to be correct. And it's proving that third part that is very difficult to do. I think there are, depending on how much proof you want, you can offer proof. Like, say, what proof is there? Well, I can, um, I can go over and, say, touch the game console. And if it's hot, it indicates that it is running a program. I can... Uh, in addition to the visual, I can listen and hear, oh, is the game making sounds? Okay, there we go. I could uh, later on close the switch and look at, hey, what was this, what was what was going on at the time of recording this? And if I see, oh, there's records of the game being played at that time, that's evidence. But you could argue at some point, well, no, that's just all more evidence. You don't really know. And at that point, I say, sure. But then you also don't know that we're not just brains in the vat in the matrix. So, does that make sense? Like, I, I see your point, but you, if you take that too far, you re you get back to the point of you can't prove, you can't ever know anything ever. Or right, okay. Um, I, you know, I I, I, I want to see if your if your answer works for the case that Gator actually actually gives with the uh, the man who gets hired. So I think uh, the way it goes. Is there's a John and uh, Jacob? Right, let's do John and Matthew 
are both going to apply for a job. Sorry, real quick. I, I have an idea. Um, can you, like, when it spins around, so the ball will fall in, which opens up the cage, right? Can uh -huh. you, like, get in the cage, and then once it gets right way up, it'll lock you in, but you'll be in there, so it's fine? Well, I don't... Wait, I, wait, what? No, so I already got inside the oh, cage. I, I can get the... inside the cage. Oh, okay. I need okay. I need to find a way to get this top uh, brick off of the chest and it be down and, like, where I can stand on it. So that uh, way I can open the chest. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not quite sure how to do that one, honestly. I'm going to figure it out, oh, though. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so, go ahead and use Gettier. Explain Gettier's. Okay, so I think I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the way it goes. Uh, what if I hit the bottom? If that does anything. Um, so John and Matthew both are applying for a job, and John believes that a, a that Matthew is going to get the job because you know the upper boss told him, "Oh, I'm going to give the job to him." Um, and for the somehow John knows that Matthew has. Uh, 10 coins in his pocket. So John believes that a man with 10 coins in his pocket will get the job. Uh, but according, but through some weird happenstance, the upper ups say, oh no, Matthew or John will get the job instead of Matthew. So John, uh, what is it? Um, so or John gets the job. And so, and unbeknownst to John, he happens to have 10 coins. 10 coins in his pocket. John has 10 coins in his pocket. Yeah, each each one has 10 coins in her pocket. One believes that the other is going to get the job and concludes someone with 10 coins in their pocket will, the someone with 10 point the person who gets the job will have 10 coins in their pocket. And then right. he himself has 10 coins in his pocket and gets the job. So, was he wrong? I I think that's that's the question. Was he wrong? Ah, I see. That's um, that's really what I this think... is like. Was he wrong? I think it's hard. To, it's hard to say sincerely. He did like he is wrong. Yeah, okay, uh, let's. I want to be very make sure I clarify what I'm saying exactly. So he is correct objectively. Okay. Like, if you were to if you were to take the statement in a vacuum, uh, okay. How about this? Um, it's not John that's saying it. You. Uh, talk to the you, you look at your horoscope and the horoscope says a man with 10 coins in his pocket will be hired today. That statement is true. Yes? Yes. No, so oh, oh, I think I did it. I think I've done it, but I don't know if I've done it. And now I'm stuck down here. I need to get back up. I got, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the waterfall. Get back up. Okay, anyway, keep going. Sorry, horos horoscope. Yeah. So yes, um uh, when say phrase like that that is a true statement, correct? Now, when John says it, uh, it it's... I, I got a little mixed up. It's John the, is the one who was making that claim, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. When John says it, he said... What he's actually saying, if we want to use my expanded... Um, he, well, okay, for convenience sake and for the sake of language, because that's how language works and it'd be silly to say otherwise, that's, that is what John is saying. John, The words John says is... A person, the man with 10 coins in his pocket, will be hired. Yes. However, what he's actually saying is because I believe um, Matthew will get the job and Matthew has 10 coins in his pocket, Matt, the man with 10 coins in his pocket will get the job. Okay, there we go. He's almost using 10 coins in his pocket as a nickname to indicate Matthew. So if you replaced his statement with Matthew oh. will get the job... That's obviously untrue, but because he's using a different name that just so happens to have the same wording as a more broad statement, that's where the confusion comes in. Yeah, okay, I, I think I like that because that's what, almost kind of like what I was saying. Uh, in literature, I don't, I, I've heard reference to this called the pronoun game where, you know, mm -hmm. in a movie it's like, oh, he is coming. And then it's a question, oh, who is he? Well. In theory, if the characters were being explicit and saying everything what they had to say, there wouldn't be any mystery or any confusion, right? Right. But, or like, oh, the, the classic thing everyone hates in uh, romantic comedies or whatever. Not that I have much experience with them, but like, uh -huh. oh, uh -huh. I, but when the person's <laughs> writing a letter, oh, uh, I just can't stand you, and it gets it goes to the wrong person. Well, if the per if the letter had said, I can't stand you, <gasps> Janet, and the letter ends up delivered to Margot. 
obviously Margot's going to know it wasn't intended for her, but because language, we take shortcuts and we use words to indicate other words, that's how confusion can happen. So I think that might be the same thing here. So going back to John and Matthew, I believe what John is saying is when John says the man with 10 coins in his pocket will be hired, what he's actually trying to say and what he's what can be commonly understood to say is he is using the man in 10 coins as a synonym for Matthew. So kind of like a, a weird pronoun kind of thing. Yes, like, like a, a very, a, a nickname. That would be the term I would use, okay. but yes. Now, uh, nicknames, that's not exactly the right connotation, but it, it's, it gets the idea of point across. Yeah. So, yeah, and then you could use that same sort of logic for the watch or for the, um, the sheep or whatever. I, you could use some, like for the watch, I'll go back and say, uh, if I said, um, okay, there's a, my watch has been stolen, but replaced with the Hello Kitty watch on the table. I could say it is on the table. What, what is it? Uh, I, I'm clearly, I'm by it, I'm indicating my watch, right? Mm -hmm. But so that is a false statement. I could say the thing I got in China is on the table. That is, but that is a false statement. I could say the silver watch is on the table. That is a false statement. I could say the watch or a watch is on the table. Clearly, what I'm trying to do is use the watch as a synonym for all those other things I was saying. Silver watch, thing I got in China, it, my watch. But because of the phrasing, it leaves it ambiguous. So, yeah, I think that's my answer. I, I kind of like that. Well, I will say this is uh, definitely, hmm, I feel like this did come up. And I think the only issue I think that I'm coming up with is the uncomfy feeling we're, we get when that, if that's the answer then we don't know things and that's uncomfortable. Like we want to know things. Right. Like we really want to know things, Noah. Yeah, and I agree. <laughs> I think that but then that gets into a question of well, how how can we know anything is true? Like again, how can I know that the water I'm drinking is really water and not um I, I don't know, f uh, flavorless poison? How can I know that can we, uh, wait, 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 wait. Can, can we take a second? This chest, there is a gap in between the top of the, like, the, the top part and the chest, which means that this chest is just, like, crazy glued to the bottom. <laughs> okay? I don't know if that was intended. Hey, what, what can I say? When the uh, ancient people were building <laughs> this divine beast, they, they, they knew that, that the uh, $5 in the chest was really going to be <laughs> super glowing. Yes, no, I know. I recognize this is a waste of time. I'm still going to do it. How many, so the question is, how many weapons are you going to break to try to open it? <laughs> to get, like, a rusty spear. Yeah. Uh, real quick, hold on. Uh, oh, do, do your uh, stasis thing again. I just okay. want to check that. Okay, look around. I think there is another thing below you could target. Yeah, see those? Oh, oh wait, no, no that, the, that was, that was to get the thing. thing. That was to get the, okay. first, uh, the first tablet thing. And right. I, I can do it on the wheel. No, I can't do it on the wheel. Hmm. What's that down there? Oh, that's that's the gate. Oh, I could have done that, I guess. Hmm. All right, I am gonna give up. I, I'm done. I'm, right. I'm over it. You're right. I I, I really wanted it, but Jerry we Jerry get the things yeah. we want. Jerry will tell me how to get the chest after the episode, so you know. <laughs> I'm I'm sure if you cared, if you cared enough, you could like look up a guide or something. But whatever, it's not, not not yeah. important. No. Um. Okay. So. You were saying uncomfy feeling. The issue is the uncomfy feeling that we get and how we know things. And I think it's, it's more than just like, okay, we want to know things. It's like, or no, that's like, knowledge is unattainable then is really what you're saying is that you never know something and that, that we have to just be okay with that. I mean... With you once again. Mifa. I suppose the question is, how much evidence do you need for a thing before you can claim that it is, before you can say that it is true? Because that of the three points we said, that's the one we're discussing right now, right? Like, it's easy to prove that you believe a thing, at least to yourself. It's easy to show why you believe it, but we're having trouble proving, well, is that statement true? So, I guess the question really is, what is truth? <laughs> Truth is what my friends would let me get away with saying, Noah. Uh, you know what? That's a 
as good a definition as any, I suppose. Uh, that is actually probably my one of my favorite uh, pool of tears. philosopher quotes. Uh, yeah, he's like, truth is just whatever my friends will let me get away with saying. And if you won't let him get away with saying that, then that's not what truth is. <laughs> it's it's such a good like you can't prove it wrong. All this time, you, you, you know what? Sure, I, I don't I don't think all I don't think I can argue with that. Yeah, um, probably could, but I don't want to. So truth would I think truth uh, would in this context would actually just be aligning with reality. Yeah, 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 exactly. And I think that's a good point. Aligning with reality, and then how do you prove that it aligns with reality? Well. You can touch it. You can feel it. You can right. We're we're, it. we're we're not gonna go full Descartes. I think I think that I think yeah. That, that, I think going full it, Descartes just stumps so many. Like it's like it, it takes a very brave soul to go full Descartes. Yeah, it's just you, you, it's, you, you, it's just kind of how do I it? It's very it's almost like a cop out like answer. It's like well you don't really know anything. It's like okay well can we can we work with what we actually have please? Okay yeah, obviously exactly. so what I I'm could be a brain is, in the bat but assuming when, I am when a brain I, in the so bat. So when I when. <laughs> The Hello Kitty watch is on the table, and we see it al that it aligns with reality that the Hello Kitty watch is on the table. Uh, you can test that by whatever means you feel like. You can touch it. You can look at it. You can pick it up. I, I don't particularly care what method you use to verify it, as long as you acknowledge it can be verified without verified to a point that there's no reason to doubt it. Yeah. It, what 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 that level of verification requires is probably depends person to person or for what they're going to accept i don't think there's a easy way to say that but i think the point is that it is verifiable within it is ver verifiable within reason so yeah hmm. I'm, I'm not sure what that where that level is but it exists and that's good enough for me okay i feel like there's another thought experiment that, that I, i'm gonna say it and obviously I, I see a gaping issue with it and i think there's a, an explanation in it but i can't think of it right now hopefully talking about it will bring out the um the, the helpful part so it, it's true that there is either a an even number or odd number of spiders in the room i'm in right correct it can either be let's just remember zero is even just yes, throw okay. that out there in case you don't know i thought it was odd because it can't be divided by two no zero can't even be divided by two zero divided by two oh right okay right. um so Either it's even or odd, and then I remember there's some way where you come to, you make up your decision for some reason, um, what, on whether being even or odd, but you don't like count the spiders. And then it's like, do what I know the sp what I know how many spiders there are, or what I know would I be correct in saying, whichever one I choose. I'm trying to remember. I forgot how you get your answer. There is something you do, so you have some kind of evidence. But oh no, so. Mm, Okay, okay. So I see one spider in my room, in the room. I conclude there are an odd number of spiders in this room based on the fact that I see a spider. All right. Unbeknownst to me, there are two more spiders off in a little nook oh, off to the side. There are an odd number of spiders in the room, but the reason I believe that is because I saw one spider. Now, would you be say, would you say then that I am concluding that this is the only sp I'm really saying this is the only spider in the room therefore there is an odd number um yes because you couldn't if you because let's break it out further if you were to say make the statement there is one spider but there may be more therefore there are an odd number of spiders that that doesn't make sense right you can't mm -hmm. you can't make that statement because that's untrue so if you say oh I see a spider therefore there's an odd number of spiders in the room you are implicitly making the claim this is the only spider or actually i'll expand a little bit you are making the claim you are either making the claim this is the only spider or you are making the claim all the number of other spiders in the room is even and i don't really know how you would make that claim but <laughs> either way that it, but if, if you were to make that statement that would still be true because that aligns with truth but just be aware that is the statement you're making but i think typically if you say if you see a spider ah a spider uh, okay, Wait, there's what? an odd number whoa, of spiders whoa, whoa, in the room. Whoa, 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 Is this like a... Oh, it's a one... Is this a one-use thing? No, it's a superpower, basically. So, wait, a sort of power born from the spirit of Champion Mifa. When your hearts run out, you'll automatically be resurrected with full health plus temporary bonus hearts? Yeah, it and, has a recharge value. So, like, when if you die, you respawn, and then... But then if you die immediately after, you don't get, like, bonus bonus. Yeah. 
It's cool. Am well, I? Kill, kill a yourself god? to find out. <laughs> um, I don't think so. <laughs> this is. This seems pretty. Ooh. Okay. All right. So there's four divine beasts, right? So now I've done these guys. So now I'm on. I think talk to some. There should be someone else you can talk to in the city who will give you something, if I recall. But like, go talk. Go talk to like the, the city boss or something. I think. Okay. Come on, come on! You save these. You save these fish people. The fish people will be officially happy. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm gonna talk to this guy for a second. I guess. Um. All right. So I think. I think you're right in a way, and I think I made a similar argument whenever I was trying to dismiss Gideon cases, um, saying that we the what you're claiming you're claiming you're not actually claiming. Like. Yeah. You're you're saying more. Uh. You're saying more than you think you are. But, the, okay, here's the question. Okay. From an outsider perspective, am I right? Or is the person right? So let's say we're, we're watching this, you know, third person omniscient. Oh. We know that there are three spiders in the room. We know that uh, there's an odd number. So I think it goes back to saying, like, would I... Is it right? Is the person correct in stating that there are an odd number? Now, um, like the you... state. Okay, I, I'm gonna maybe this is a bit of a cop out. The statement is correct, okay. but the person is well. The statement there are an odd number of spiders. Okay, yeah. Uh, the statement there are an odd number of spiders in the room is correct. However, like we discussed, that is not what the person is saying implicitly, based on the knowledge. Well, of no, 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 no. Actually... Well, 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 Oh, oh you're saying mm. okay so okay so what you're saying is let's say now um yeah. we there's no person there but we just see a note scribbled on the floor that says there are an odd number of spiders in the room and yeah we don't know how that note we don't know how that note got there but that it's just there or it's there and then because we're third person omniscient Ooh. we know there are exactly three spiders in the room is that what you're saying oh wait, sorry repeat that i was reading this i didn't realize i walked into a oh. store sorry okay so just the last part yeah so there's a note on the floor. We don't know how it got there, but the note says the, the wor exact wording of the note is ah. there are exactly three spiders, or there are an odd number of spiders in the room. And because we are third person omniscient, we know there are exactly three spiders in the room. Are you asking, is the note true? Or is the note yes. accurate, rather? Uh, yes. yes. The answer okay. is yes. Okay. Because the, the way written language works, especially if we don't know the source and we don't know how this person, whoever wrote it, came to that conclusion, we can't, we have to only go off of what is there Ooh. but when you're speaking about people and people talking and in a, a person in a scenario you have to there is more to be said so yes we could so I'll, I'll explain i'll elaborate further we can take the note and say oh this note is accurate now let's say later on we're walking along and we meet john and john is the one who wrote the note and john says oh yes i um wrote that note because i saw a spider and i know there are an odd number of spiders in the room we could ask john okay wait you saw exactly, you only saw one spider. And John says, yes. Then we say, but there were three spiders in the room. And John says, well, yes, or well, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm actually saying is there was only one spider. In that case, we now, we now know, oh, well, John was incorrect. But beforehand, when we didn't have that knowledge, if we, it was just the paper, we can't assume, we can't make that assumption, or we can't make that discovery. Does that make any sense? I think so. I think I think what you're saying, and I'm. Mm, I just. Yeah, I think I think the only the only issue is that that now it just comes down to. Um, oh. Let's take one. Um. <laughs> then it's just the like I, said, I like I said I think I think Ooh. I think we're actually nearing the end of this of this talk for yeah, some reason. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, we, I, it seems like we're it seems closely. like we're uh we're talking oh. in circles a little bit. Um. Because I, once again, now we're just down to. Uh, yes, check out. I want this one. Oh. Uh, oh. Now it just comes down to what is knowledge, and how yeah. can we have it? Okay, so yes, which so, is th those are valid questions, but that's oh. a different question than the Gettier case. Hmm. I think. Yeah. I, or it, it's not exactly. It's not really what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I think that's a reasonable place to stop because we we have 
in previous episodes talked not necessarily directly but we have talked about well what is knowledge how do we know anything how do we know that we know anything and you can those are topics you can talk for a very long time about mm -hmm. which is fun but again not really what we're here to do so yeah um do you have anything else to say i think i, I think i'm satisfied with this answer i think i am i think i think uh i don't want to say i guess like you solved getting your problems that's not quite right but you have definitely um given an explanation yeah no you yeah oh is that a is that a torch? I need a torch. You just stole from these poor people. That's I saved thing. them. This isn't you know what? stealing. Sure. It doesn't count. Hey, it, with the water raining down, they weren't going to be able to light the torch if it was all wet all the time. So really, it doesn't. Mm, they they, 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 owe me, they owe me a thank you, actually. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Hero, for saving our lives and then breaking into our house and taking our stuff. <laughs> and using now, our that, Now that's some video game logic for you. And using our kitchen. Because. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah. yeah, I think so. You agree with Gettier that uh, knowledge is well. Oh no, 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 actually, you disagree with Gettier because your thing is knowledge is I, justified I, true belief. But what we're saying when we say true belief is not really. We don't really mean that. Yeah. Or what? How you get true? The true part of it is. It, that's a different topic that gets into epistemology and um, objectivity and all that all that jazz, which is... Assuming you can get the truth, Ooh, knowledge is justified true belief. Hearty steamed mushrooms? I made a full recovery? Wow. Nice. I'm, I'm quite the chef. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm happy with that if you are. Okay, I think, I think we're good. Um, yeah. Knowledge is so... justified true belief, but... We how you get that where... truth is questionable. Right, assuming question. yeah, assuming you don't want to go full Descartes and say you don't know your hands. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. Knowledge is justified. True belief. It's easy to justify. It's easy to prove the belief to yourself. How you prove it's true? I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer. How about that? Yeah, so with all that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, uh, Justin. Actually, you're beating the Divine Beast quite efficiently. I, I was, yeah, I was... I no, was... Justin, don't don't sell yourself short. You are a gamer. <laughs> yeah, who was also a philosopher, which is uh, pretty cool. But, yeah, and I'm an uh, amateur, you... so it's almost like it's you... the names in the, in the names... In the games in the name. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the name of our YouTube channel, huh? But anyway... Yeah, if you uh, if, if check it, if it is true that I, I hear when you press the like button, it uh, it changes color and like goes dark. So that's that's, that's an, that'd be interesting to see. I, I have a belief about that and it's justified. But you, dear audience, can uh, tell can tell me if it's true. Leave a comment to tell if it's true or not, and then subscribe because you should subscribe. And uh, we we talk about justified true belief and stuff. <laughs> Noah, one of these days, you'll, 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 you'll really, you, you'll tie it in so smooth, it'll be so, one of these days. Hey, now, that was smooth. That was, like, smoother than sandpaper. <laughs> you know, can't argue with you, no. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cook one more thing, yeah. and then I'll, and then I'll, I'll I just want to. Yeah. I'm experimenting, oh. but I, I ran out of all my food, so. Yes. Dubious food? Dubious food. What did, what did you put in there exactly? A toad, and what was the other one? I I don't I don't remember what the other one that hold. Okay. Uh, pro tip: if you're using like uh, hold on, wait, stop, stop, stop. Oh. What I was going to say is, it took me like 30 hours of gameplay to figure this out in my playthrough. Well, it's it's dubious, but it does heal a lot of parts. So yeah. you know, what you can do is. You take a little animal, like a lizard or a toad, mix it with a monster part, and that's how you create elixirs. Oh, so okay. Take see. a frog and like mix it with uh, a bat wing. Like, sure, yeah, try that. That I think that might do something. Oh uh, no, no, this is looking pretty. Oh, 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 enduring elixir. Yeah, see, and thing that restores endurance. Nice. That's how you do those. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so you mix you mix food with food, and you mix. Uh, small animals with um monster parts and that's how you uh make different things yeah i think i don't think we need to bore the viewers with this you can uh, okay press okay, but, yeah, press okay. Buttons on your time. all right but anyway like comment subscribe thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week